well for the draw is a bit challenging this year to compare with last year this year the draw treated me a little bit more crawler than anything else as you can see the ground dry and what's not and that's basically it for that part and i find that with the drought and the climate it's more challenging for us out here as farmers at weight field to the fact we don't have the water system and access to water we have to depend on the truck to come which the truck have to service other farmers and other different parishes and for me and for me and other farmers it's more challenging especially farmers that a little off the road to compare me that close to the road I could get water more easier and that day too this play upon my mind which everybody should be getting a fair chance and I feel that to be honest out here should have been set up more properly for us as farmers pertaining to water which is more important and yeah that what I should be doing making sure we got a water system set up before they hand over properties to us but so far the Bay DMC doing the best that they can do but if they had the control over the water I feel it would be much more better for them true to the fact uh, last week the pump was done or something like that it working now so we should be getting water we should be getting water basically every day or probably every other day but every day will work better for a person like me not go on my ceilings as you can see which gonna want water from a rapid so it is gonna like manage and control the water uh, for instance with the 12 there that i have i using three totes there already and if i turn that on to really feed everything that shut down before must be less than an hour or half an hour that's the truth that's what gonna happen there so i yeah so i try to control it so i won't overuse it in case if say if i use that day no today all of that day and the water truck don't come my plants and go through a shop dry off whatever case may be and i can't deal with that i can't deal with that car right now fertilizer pesticides everything expensive and then when it comes to pricing the product to sell it got good cheap nobody understanding that's what we have to deal with so the price when these vegetables really want doing something about because if they can everything we should also be able to carry up to meet the demands of the fertilizer competing with them prices and it real hard <music> Bajans want pay and then they got Bajans that don't want pay and then I just got end up like we us call it um bargaining with them to get them a, a price for them to work with in order for I to get fees so my products one my products all waste you understand me so it's try to juggle the prices which we need standard prices for these vegetables that's the truth we really need standard prices for these vegetables as we drove on like this morning I sell a lady a yam which that yam was that yam was three pounds and they tell she 15 and that was still too much for her so it lets you go along with it at two pounds and done with that day because they make no sense of keeping that day you know what I'm because the yam that can be cooked in the seed to plant so that's how it is gonna work to keep the customers try to satisfy the customers and also be building my clientele that way too and that is be very hard because when they go back now and they doing my calculations and my my totals and then they adding up nothing they adding up that's the truth nothing they adding up the main things that adding up is all the bills and the things that you have to buy that them is what adding up so you see me if i see the total of my fertilizers my pesticides and what's not i would like to see my income profit like that here too which is added, nothing they adding up and it's stress but i just try to do way god because i have a goal that's way up here and pushing so hard and still putting it under this drought condition mm -hmm.